What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys. We are on our um, our Clash Without Walls account right now. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this account, uh, especially trying to come up with base layouts without having walls. Um, it's definitely challenging and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, but let's go ahead and let's rearm these. We're going to go ahead and attack at the beginning and then we're going to come back and talk about some stuff. Um, and then hopefully we can have our troops all trained up for when we uh, for when we get back but um, it's very interesting searching because sometimes you can find raids like uh, this one's pretty good that's 25 I think I can find more than that um, let's see if we can find one with about 40 of each that's generally pretty good I've found a couple that have 150 of each and those are pretty rare at least for me they are um, I definitely need to in my spare time when I'm not recording try and go up in the trophy counts uh, and see what I can find but I haven't really had a chance to do that. But look at this one. This is the kind of stuff that I love finding. So um, we are going to try and get into this wall right here. Let's see if we can get our wall breakers in there. Yep, there we go. And then let's spread out our barbarians as a distraction uh, for the mortar. And then let's try and get some of our um, let's try and get some of our goblins inside of there. We're going to take out this cannon and this archer tower over here because they are going to be doing work. And then let's see if we can get our uh, goblins inside of there as well. Um, let's go ahead and drop down a couple archers over here so we can take some of those buildings out and let's take out um, let's take out this gold mine as well right here um, it's 4th of July obviously as you guys know so if you hear uh, stuff in the background that is fireworks not gunshots uh, so don't worry molt is perfectly safe um, hopefully we can take out this air defense and then get our archers to run in before the mortar drops on them there we go, and now let's drop our barbarians in there, and they will go and take out the mortar, hopefully, so that our archers can be free, but they are not going to be. Um, once we take out this, <coughs> goodness, this mortar, our barbarians are going to go over to that elixir, and it looks like they are out of range of all of the defenses right now, um, as are those archers. So I can set my iPad down, and we can just let them continue going to town. That was an awesome raid to find. Um, I'm still upgrading, obviously I need to upgrade my army camp so that I can uh, bring more troops with me, so um, if we get a little bit more elixir, maybe we can do that. Hopefully the uh, archers, gosh, they definitely look like they were out of range of that wizard tower, but I guess not. Um, the barbarians are going to finish things up for us, and then that is going to uh, be it. We do have these guys down here. I guess I don't really want to wait all of that time for them to get 50% down there. Um, so, well, they are at 46 that's going to take forever. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and surrender that. So 126 gold is really good. Um, I'm definitely, definitely happy with that. Um, we can upgrade a lot with that. So we can almost, uh, no, we can't upgrade two of those. All of our cannons are maxed out right now at level six. So those are good. So we can't upgrade those anymore. Um, we can upgrade mines and pumps, which definitely is important. Um, we can, we cannot upgrade our wizard tower either until we move up. Um, we can upgrade our archers. Are all of them at five? Yeah, all of our archers are at five, so we can upgrade one of those. Um, but I kind of want to upgrade, um, some of my mines and pumps just to help me out overnight. It looks like they are all... If any of them are four, so I'm going to upgrade this one for sure because that's only two hours. It's nine o'clock. I'll be up later. Um, definitely going to upgrade this one. That one's only an hour. Um, and why don't we go ahead and upgrade an archer tower as well so that you guys get to see something a little better than uh, what we were upgrading. And then right now, as you can see, we're upgrading our goblins, um, which is going to be great. They're going to be done in 10 hours. So uh, tomorrow morning, I will be able to upgrade my archers, hopefully, depending on how our next um, attacks go. It looks like we have about 10 minutes left. Um, oh, and we don't even have enough troops trained up to um, fill our army camps right now. That was a really loud firework out there. Uh, I might head out in a little bit and shoot some off. Uh, let me know if you guys are shooting off fireworks as well. That's, that'd be pretty cool if you are. Um, but there's one attack right there, guys. Let me know what y'all want me to do in the comments um, if you want to just see how farming goes and whatnot. Um, I'll go ahead and show y'all that attack uh, from earlier. Where was it? I can't show it to you. But it was this one right here at the top. 100% awesome raid. Um, definitely got a lot of loot from that. There's another 100% right there. Defense isn't going too well, obviously, without walls right now. Um, we're getting owned. But this one looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and replay this and see how we did on this one. 
Um, this was with my new base layout. Um, so he dropped off a couple of giants uh, on all the corners. Uh, they're working their way around. He actually dropped off a, a pretty good amount of giants. Um, and then there, he just spreads out his archers. And none of them are doing too much of a significant amount of damage because I place my defenses around, like I always tell you guys to do, archer cannon, archer cannon, archer cannon, so on and so forth. And that, oh, that was a waste of a bomb. Did you see that? That was annoying. Um, and he's going to run out of time probably before he can take out that town hall with that one measly archer. Um, that was another waste of a air mine. <laughs> I guess I need to put those in a little bit further, uh, to not waste them like that, but he's not going to make it any further. Um, so that was pretty good defense for not having any walls. Uh, I, I mean, I think that it's going pretty well. Let's go ahead and let's scoot these in because I don't want to waste those again. Uh, so we'll scoot those in a little bit closer to that wizard tower as they come in. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I guess that's only six minutes, but I want you all to comment down below as to whether or not you want me to start, um, doing like a trophy pushing thing, or if you want to just see me go and just do a montage of picking off town halls, because honestly, that's probably what I'm going to do for the first, <clears throat> I don't know, thousand trophies or so. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that, and I can do that for you. But this Clash Without Walls account is definitely for y'all. I'm having a lot of fun on it, though. It's kind of cool uh, being back at the beginning of the game. So I definitely enjoy it. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Let me know again. Comment down below what you want. Uh, let's see if we can break a 1,000 likes on this. That'd be awesome for 4th of July, guys. Uh, and as always, thank you so much for watching. You guys rock. I hope that y'all have an awesome holiday. And a good weekend with your family and your friends. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it, guys. As always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.